Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Page that seemed like a dream come true. An apartment large enough for their family of 10, and even better, the landlord accepted a housing voucher that would cover the family's rent. When I got here, the first thing he explained to me is that he wanted a long term family. But one year later, the landlord told the family, it's time to go. I got a little devastated. It's really a horrifying case. According to the family's attorney with the Legal Aid Society, when their one-year lease was up, the landlord refused to renew it and began an eviction proceeding, despite the rent being paid on time. Their apartment is not in a regulated building, so this family of 10 has little legal recourse. About 50% of renters in New York City have no protection against eviction. So at the end of their lease, the landlord can evict them for any reason or no reason, or can raise the rent by as much as he wants. Anissa and Dwight aren't alone. A new report from Cornell University found in the Bronx where the family lives, last year there were 10 eviction filings for every 100 renter households. Every month, the evictions are basically doubling. Governor Kathy Hochul has faced pressure to strengthen tenant protections by passing the good cause eviction bill with the April 1st state budget. The legislation would make it illegal for landlords to evict tenants from unregulated apartments unless they violate the lease. This impacts 1.6 million households. That's not people. It's 1.6 million households all across New York State. Critics of good cause eviction legislation worry the new rules would be too much of a burden, especially for small landlords. When recently asked if she supports the legislation, the governor did not answer directly. Her office points out Hochul is working to expand the state's tenant protection unit. Meanwhile, this family of 10 is now searching for a new home. You at the mercy of the landlords. Anissa and Dwight are back in court on March 29th. Their attorney expects that'll be their final court date, and then the family will be given nine days to leave their apartment, and they are still searching for a new home, one that can accommodate all 10 of them. Kim. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.